Dr. Griffin, let me kind of come back to you because the whole usage of technology is nothing new to the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. I remember several years ago going to a uh, executive council meeting and you literally distributed these video conference uh, units and instruments. Uh, and that was every bit of 10 years ago. And so talk to us about how Full Gospel has uh, attempted to remain on the cutting edge, uh, not just right now, but throughout its history. You're right. Uh, about 10 years ago, we did. We purchased video telephones uh, that allowed us to call each other and see each other's face as we are right now, um, talking with each other. Uh, we also remember, used to give away about five or 10 laptops a year uh, to our senior pastors to introduce them to the internet, uh, online. Uh, usage through their churches, online giving, um, text to give. We're trying to um, stay abroad, stay on top of 21st century technology. Um, and again, I think we just need to, and for you, maybe um, you can help us in that area by holding some classes that help our pastors to understand what webinars are. People like Robin, um, bring pastors in to understand the importance of 21st century technology. Uh, I introduced text to give uh, and try to get pastors to understand, especially during these times we're living in where there are catastrophic events going on. Uh, Bishop Martin, uh, Atlanta had a snowstorm recently. I sent him a tape of another bishop in New York that we did text to give with, who used text to give and his streaming capability to hold his Bible study. And doing that, he did not miss Bible study and he did not miss his offerings. Is it all about the offerings? No, it's not, but it's about staying in contact with your sheep. Uh, no matter what the case is. The Bible says, uh, Jesus said, and you shall do greater works. This is greater works to me. When we begin to use the tools and resources that God has allowed men to create and provide for us to work smarter, not harder, to work greater and keep the word going abroad. So some people might say uh, the internet is a demon. The computer is a demon. Text to give is a demon. I don't see it as such. I see it as the Lord saying, and ye shall do greater works. Uh, and this is greater works to me right now, even what we're doing. It's greater works. Listen, we are rapidly approaching the uh, half hour mark, and I promise not to take more than a half hour, half hour of your time today. However, I want to repeat my invitation and my appeal that we would reassemble ourselves in the not too distant future uh, to continue this conversation. I want to spend these last two to three minutes, however, Sister Ware, uh, bringing you back into the conversation. I'm still talking about full gospel, but I was fascinated recently about, about a posting you did. Uh, Periscope is a new technology, and so I want you to just give us a quick overview of Periscope and how you anticipate that impacting what we do in full gospel, and that'll be our uh, closing comment for this session and then ladies if I can reassemble us a little later on this week we got to come back and talk about your particular businesses and how your businesses can be a blessing in the body of Christ. Sister Ware. Absolutely. Um, Periscope is a new live streaming app. It allows people to give you access to your world. You can give people access to your world. It is amazing. It is the new craze. And I know people are saying, oh, my goodness, you know, I don't have time to learn a new social media uh, platform, but it's well worth your time. And so what I've done is I took about four or five days, studied it, went on different people's accounts, and I just put it all together in an ebook so that I could help churches understand how they could use it as a mechanism to not only um, uh, for exposure, but to grow their ministries and to connect with their existing members. You know, retention is one of the uh, consistent opportunities that churches have. And social media, of course, most of the platforms are free, and so it doesn't cost them anything but time. And Lord knows 
you know, uh, we're commanded, Jesus commanded us to be disciples of men. And so we have to use the tools that he has made available to us. And I'm telling you, Periscope is a great, great tool. I use it in Sunday morning service, literally during our call for salvation, or maybe during a high um, music moment, and of course maybe a little bit during the Word. It helps direct traffic to streaming. It helps uh, direct traffic to our website. There are all kind of opportunities that you could use Periscope for. So it's an app that's owned by Twitter, and literally if you have a Twitter account, you can use it to log in to Periscope. You don't have to set up a background. You don't have to try to go, you know, follow 10 million people, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, don't compare yourself to people that have a bunch of followers. I always say comparison breeds discontentment. You do you. And so, you know, Pastor Sir, Pastor Ma'am, whatever size church you have, you could be on Periscope and it can be a blessing to your ministry. And the main reason you want to use it, Bishop, is to just allow people to see you doing you. That's uh, it. Okay. Well, friends, for the last several minutes, you have been watching and listening to uh, Dr. Yolanda Griffin out of New Orleans, Louisiana, and uh, Sister Robin Ware, Minister Robin Ware, out of Atlanta, Georgia. I am Bishop Andy C. Luther. This is a series of uh, webinars that I do, uh, hopefully to impact the body of Christ. I'm delighted to have these guests with me today, and uh, both of them have committed to coming back and sharing with us in the not-too-distant future. Both of them have amazing entrepreneurial narratives to share with you, and I'm anxious for them to talk to you about exactly what they do outside of Full Gospel, outside of the church, and how what they do outside the church can impact what you do inside the church. So until next time, please know God loves you. I love you. We look forward to seeing you real soon. God bless.